and welcome back to Stroop Mansion. Today's video is old news that I have never made a video about, but I think it's probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened to us. And even if you do know this story, I want you to stay tuned because I have a little update at the end that I think is just the icing on the cake. So three years ago, Jeff and I found buried art in the woods. We own a couple of acres and maybe half of it is like yard grass garden and the other half is like just woods. So a couple months after we moved in, Jeff is out in the woods and he's looking for cool rocks and a property marker just so that we could figure out exactly where our property line was. And I get this text from him that is like, horse, horse in the woods, come quick. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what this means, but I'm throwing on my boots and I am running full speed out into the woods with my phone and my camera because I don't know what this means, but this is exciting. He's excited. He's all wound up. So I get out there and he has found this thing sticking up this horse face. And as he's moving away more leaves and debris, there's a Roman soldier. So we worked very hard to get that out of the ground. It wasn't buried super deep. It was more just like covered with debris. I mean, it was definitely under the dirt and dirty, but not like, you know, not a couple feet down or anything. Just enough to say buried. So we dig this thing up, we pull it out. There's like a fallen tree that's like half over it. So we drag that up to the house and hose it off. And then we threw it in the bathtub to clean it up even further. And it was amazing. It was so cool. It's not in 100% perfect shape, but given where it was, like you couldn't ask for a better piece. Not take long at all for us to identify the piece. It is actually by an artist named Jay Segura and it's a mid-century piece it's made from fiberglass. It is not solid, it is like um, blown. So the back is like hollow. They actually go on eBay for quite a pretty penny. Um, anywhere from like four to 600 and there are actually a couple outliers as well that are fetch over a grand. I'm not sure what makes them so much more special, but it does not matter because this is not going anywhere. This belongs to our house. It's not something I would ever like see at an antique store and be like, oh, I have to have that. It's so me. I would never just like pick this out from somewhere, but because we found it in the woods and because of this next little update, it, it, it like, it has to be here. It's awesome. It's always going to be hanging in this house. If we resell the house, it's going with the house. You gotta keep it hanging if you wanna live here. We have actually seen it at antique malls. This specific piece and others from the same series, they're like the same material, same kind of thing. They're pieces by Jay Segura, but they are like other, like there's one that's like just one horse, that sort of thing. We've seen them at antique malls and they're always like 500 bucks. Seriously, finding buried art in your woods is honestly one of the coolest things ever. And the fact that it's in a good enough shape that we were able to just hang it back up, it's amazing. So this is actually in our spare bedroom upstairs. One of my favorite things to show guests when we're like showing off the house is like, yeah, the room's super cool. We have this really cool wallpaper and like, you know, blah, 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 blah. But this was found in the woods. The really cool update that I'm very excited about is the family who lived here from the 70s to the 90s. Those are extremely rough estimates and I could be totally off there. They are the ones that we are able to find out the most about their time at the house, if that sentence made sense. Basically, I found a newspaper article that mentioned them, that sort of thing. The, the daughter who grew up in this house is now a full grown adult, obviously, and she messaged me to let me know that her mother bought this for her father for his sort of like man cave bar room, which is Jeff's office downstairs. And I just think that's so cool. Like I love that we were able to bring a piece of them back into the house, especially because like I said, when we research the house and everything, it seems like they were ones who poured a ton of love into this house and a ton of work. And it feels like a little like cool way to honor them, I guess. I don't know. I just feel, I feel really like honored to have it. I am happy that it's here. Boy, I feel a little teary saying that. That's, I don't know. I just have a lot of respect for everybody who's lived here and loved here and yeah. So it's very cool that we were able to bring this back in the house. So the big question is, how in the heck did it get out in the woods? 
We have no idea. We have theories, of course. And obviously when we found it, everybody on Instagram was like, it's haunted, send it back, don't bring it in the house. This is how horror movies start. And I do kind of love that. I think that's very funny. But I think that mine and Jeff's biggest like thought on it is that when the house was abandoned, that maybe somebody tried to steal it when they were like exploring the house and then just kind of gave up because it is awkward and heavy and like, Maybe it didn't fit in their car and you know, it's just kind of easier to just leave it in the woods. But also it could just be that it is big and awkward and maybe putting it in a trash can was just too much work, too, it didn't fit, throw it in the woods. I don't know. There was no other trash near it. So I don't think that this was a dump or anything. I think it was left out there. So I don't know. Or maybe it's cursed, who knows? I hope not. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little story. Uh, I will see you next time. We actually found this five days before Christmas and since it was our first year here, it felt very much like a gift from the house, like a welcome home. I, I, I'm sentimental about that sort of things. Like this is a side story here. I am sentimental about that sort of thing. Uh, for example, like two summers ago, like a couple of days before my birthday, I actually found a horseshoe in the ground. So this house actually used to be a dairy farm at one point. So it was very cool to find a horseshoe and just be like, dang, that's old. And what's even cooler is that we had metal detected the area and we did not find the horseshoe. I found it while gardening. So that was like a birthday gift. So yes, I just feel very sentimental about every single thing we find. And if it's close to a holiday, I am tying it to that holiday.